Today I'm going to show you how to double up the capacity of your cordless tool battery and turn two compact 2mO battery like this into a single extended capacity 4mO battery like this. I'm also going to work on my the volt battery so I have two compact the volt 20 volts one and a half amp hour battery and we'll turn this two into a single double capacity uh, 3 amp hour battery pack so let's get started right so here I have my two compact uh, cobalt 20 volt 24 volt 2 amp hour batteries and um, the first thing that you have to be sure is to uh, make sure that they have the same charge and easiest way is to throw in the charger and fully charge them before you do this you don't want to have one that has different state of charge as the other one right. next let's tear this down and remove the plastic cover there are, there are only four screws Boom, just like that. Right, so here we go. Got two of these. And next, what I gotta do is I have to remove one of the circuit boards. Okay, I have to strip bare. All I need is the cells only. So in this battery, there are six cells in series, right? So I have to strip down, down to the cells. So this board's gotta go and everything that is soldered to the battery it's got to go and then once I get the board removed uh, the other battery still has everything intact right? I'm just gonna stick together like this then solder them all together next I gotta remove this uh, solder joint with my soldering iron, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 7 of them. So I have to use a screwdriver and try to push it up and create some pressure. And uh, this is the main terminal, it's got thick solder there we go it's out all right so now that all the solder joints are removed I'm gonna get the board out there's only one single screw on this board. And there's a heat sensor cable, which is right here. All right, this is a temperature sensor. Um, I'm not gonna need it, because uh, the, the other battery pack already got a temperature, uh, the, the same thing. I only need one, so just pull this out and cut the cable. All right, so I have trimmed all the excess plastic on the top here, nice and clean. The point is to remove anything here that sticks out so that you can stack it on like this, all right? So next I'm going to use a double sided tape and tape them together. By the way this thing I got from Daiso. Daiso. Made in Japan. And it really sticks. This whole thing for $1.50. It's pretty inexpensive. But good quality. So. 
I put my tape right on here. Okay. Here we go. And then I'm gonna stick it on here. Make sure you got the See, this is negative terminal. See the negative sign? This is a negative terminal of the battery. And here is the positive terminal of the battery. So make sure that they all line up, okay? The negative terminal go with the negative terminal. The positive terminal go with the positive terminal, okay? Hmm. There's still a little bit of plastic here in trim and here too gotta go gotta go one here too and things gotta be flat right there ready to go this way. Just make sure they line up perfectly before you stick it on. Boom! There we go. Sticks on really tight. I'm holding the bottom battery. And let's see if we can yank it off. Nope. Let's pull this. It does peel away, but I have to use all my strength to pull it. So it's very strong now. Next, I'm going to connect these two packs together using tabbing wire. This wire is used for making solar panels, but uh, it is great for this purpose. And it's flat, as you can see here. Um, it's very important to be flat as possible because later on, when I put the cover on, hold on, let me grab a cover here. I couldn't put a cover on. If I use a thick wire, it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit in here. See that? So it gotta be flat. And this tapping wire serves as two purposes. Number one is to conduct the uh, electricity. Number two is to provide structural support. Because these two pack will have a tendency to peel out like this or like that or slide like this right so with this solder together like this it's gonna hold everything together also I am done with the soldering. Check this out. It's not beautiful. Same on the other side. So basically, all the uh, positive were connected together and all the negative was connected together. Every single battery is being connected to the other uh, battery pack. Beautiful. Now I just have to put it back to my uh, plastic case. Problem this case 
plastic case is that it's, uh, it's got this part here that sticks up, you know, and this part here there's a gap. So I guess I have to cut, I have to cut across here and take the top piece, move to the top. That way I don't have a gap right here. And also the screw, now the screw doesn't doesn't fit anymore. Screw a little bit too short now. <laughs> so I have to get a screw that go from here all the way up here. Voila! I am done. It's not beautiful. Next, I got my charger here. Let's see if it would charge this battery. There we go. Light blink blinking means charging. And over here on this side, you can see. Yeah, all lights are moving, showing it's charging the battery. So charge just fine. Next, let's see if it works on my tool first. See if it fits. There we go. Fit just fine. Got a piece of four by four here. Let's see how well it works. I'll put my nail on here. There we go. Sink nail in. There you have it folks, how to turn a single compact 2Am hour into a double capacity 4Am hour battery. I forgot my sticker. Let's put it on. There we go. 2Am hour. Fix that. There we go. How's that? Till next time, thanks for watching.